Hi everyone, James Shardsworth here with another video about MAUI. If you didn't see my first video giving you an overview of what MAUI is and how it compares to Xamarin, then go and watch that video first, the link's up here. But this time we're going to be talking about how you can upgrade a Xamarin.Forms app into a MAUI app and we're going to be using the .NET Upgrade Assistant. The .NET Upgrade Assistant is a command line utility that was actually designed to help upgrade apps built on the old .NET framework to the newer versions of .NET. But Microsoft have actually extended this tool now and they've enabled it to be used to convert Xamarin.Forms projects to .NET MAUI. Now I won't do a full conversion, but this tool will definitely get you as close to the final state as possible extremely easily. Here's how it works. First, you need to install the .NET Upgrade Assistant, and you can do that by going into the terminal and running .NET tool install-g and then upgrade-assistant. So we do that and we'll just wait for that to download and install. Then you can run it with the command that it tells you about here. So I'm going to go and do this upgrade-assistant and then dash dash version just to check that it's installed. It should print out the version number here. There we go. Then to actually upgrade a Xamarin project, navigate into the directory with your solution file. Get this right. And then run this command on the screen here now. So that's upgrade-assistant, upgrade, and then the name of the solution file that you want to upgrade. Then we're going to add these two flags for non-interactive and entry point star. Non-interactive means that it will step through all of the options and you're not going to have to say yes to every step along the way. Once you kick that off on your solution, then these are the steps that the upgrade assistant will take. First, it will select an entry point and then it will select a project that you want to start upgrading from. And then it will be backing up your project so it doesn't cause any destructive changes. Then it will go ahead and convert your projects to the newer SDK style of project. Next thing it will do is it will add the target framework for .NET MAUI project. Then the tool will make sure that you have the .NET MAUI workload installed in Visual Studio. And again, that's in my other video linked up here on how to install that manually in Visual Studio if you need to. Next thing the upgrade system will do is it will go ahead and remove packages like Xamarin.Forms and it'll upgrade those to use MAUI packages like communitytoolkits.maui and packages like that. Lastly, the tool will run a load of code analyzers on your projects, and those will change, uh, make changes in the code that need to be fixed between two versions so that it can use the new packages. Now, the code analyzers will actually update parts of your source code where it thinks they need to be updated. So for that reason, it's a good idea to check this into version control before you do the upgrade, and then you'll be able to use version control like Git to see what changes the tool has made for you. Lastly, it will update your project properties and you'll be all set to open up your solution in Visual Studio and see it, hopefully, as a working MAUI project. And that's it. After running the .NET Upgrade Assistant, you might still need to put in some additional effort to complete the migration, um, but this tool will get you off to a great start. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, then please pop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content on programming and web development in general. I'm James Charlesworth and I'll see you in the next video.